was my favorite story. Everything else was just sad and, and or disgusting. It's time for Mike Depp. This is where we feature amazing people doing amazing things all around the DMV. Today, Adam Longo gives us a look at the DC distillery bringing good trouble to the local liquor scene. The idea was to make a gin that was sort of embody RBG. A woman that not only had a long career as a, you know, attorney and Supreme Court justice, but also kind of made the idea of dissenting uh, an act of revolution. We're in Northeast DC today, off of New York Avenue, Ivy City, in front of Republic Restoratives. This is one of the only female-owned and operated distilleries in the world. We're here today to talk about a new gin that they're bottling. It's called Dissent, trying to capture the spirit of Ruth Bader Ginsburg in a bottle. We've got the folks inside who are gonna to talk to us about it. Let's head on in. So how do you take the spirit of RBG and bottle it? So she's from Brooklyn and um, we thought a lot about sort of her, her the, you know, the period of time that she came of age and what might be the aroma of the neighborhood. And um, we uh, came up with a blend that is pretty unique. It involves flavors you don't normally find in a gin um, and it's finished with a bit of hickory smoke, which we do by hand here. Let's do it. Thank you. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. RBG. Wickedly delicious. I do not dissent over the taste of this gin. This isn't the first liquor you've made to, to honor uh, anyone in politics. No. Take us through the lineage. Yes. We were actually preparing for the inauguration of the first female president, which in DC is a big economic opportunity, yeah. right? And we thought we'd have all kinds of people here celebrating. There were a lot of people here, but for a different event. Um, uh, and then we followed up with um, Madam Whiskey, which is a, a beautiful portrait painted by Lex Marie, who's a local artist. I know you've got a whole bunch of barrels upstairs. Yeah. Could you show us around upstairs? Let's do it. This is uh, a processing barrel of uh, our Burrow bourbon. Um, so this was produced uh, five years, eight months. What's happening is here is we're finishing our bourbon. This is about half full, so uh, you saw they're, they're bottling today, and we can, we can go see it. Bottling it up right now? They are. Let's go take a Let's look. Let's go take a look. So Pia, we're down here yeah. where you're bottling up the bourbon. What, what kind of bourbon is this? Burrow bourbon. So this, yeah, this is called Burrow bourbon. It's our uh, straight bourbon whiskey. It's finished in Armagnac barrels that we saw upstairs. You know, it's some ages out somewhere between five and six years. And, um, you know, if you're, if you're a bourbon lover, you're gonna love this. It's got a, a decent uh, wheat quality to it. So bourbon is mostly made of corn, but also wheat and rye. When someone's browsing through the liquor store, why do they want to buy your bourbon? Why do they want to buy a DC bourbon? Okay, great question. So if you're like me, you want a good bourbon. You don't want to just buy a bourbon because it's a local craft company who maybe you like that it's women owned. Okay, that's nice. You also want the bourbon to be good. You've been doing the work on this since about 2014. Yeah. What sort of pride must it fill you with to know that less than a decade later, yeah, you've arrived here. where you've arrived and, and you've got this delicious gin that you're able to offer? Craft provides a chance for art in every bottle. Art, every barrel isn't the same here on purpose. You know, we are doing things every day with our hands. We are not, um, you know, computerized or, or anything the way you'll see down in bigger operations. So, you know, it's, you know, what, when you open a bottle of our spirit, you're, you're actually tasting like our actual work with our hands. So, you know, we, we do things a little bit differently. We're not afraid to sort of talk about politics. We think that it's a part of life and, um, you know, living in DC, being a small business owner, being a woman owned business, it's part of us. Uh, I love that comment she made where she was like, you know, it's great with the RBG thing and that we're woman owned. People want to buy it because it's good. Yes. So we got to make sure it's good. I salute you. It is a fantastic gin. It's got a little spice to it. It, it was very unique, unlike any other gin that I've ever had. It's $79 a bottle, so more mm -hmm. expensive than most gin that, that I'm normally buying. But $10 of every bottle uh, sold goes to the National Network of Abortion Funds that provides financial and logistical support for people seeking abortions. Um, very unique. It's the one you can, you can drink it neat, mm -hmm. be great in a Bloody Mary, of course, a martini. Um, really like what they have going on there at Republic of Restoratives. As you saw in the, in the piece, they label everything by hand, right? Mm -hmm. So they're doing the labels, the packaging, the bottling, everything. That's another thing that's making things, you know, more expensive, but that's the way you go out and you support local, right? That's mm -hmm. what you do. So if you see a bottle of, you know, Jack Daniels there versus Republic Restoratives bourbon, like what are you going to do? 
Got to support the local folks. So if you were to compare it to another bourbon out there, just give people an idea. Well, in terms of gin, I can compare the gin to like the Old Bay uh, uh, vodka that we had. So okay. just, even though we're comparing gin and vodka, right? Mm -hmm. So like the vodka is a little bit spicy. The gin was a little bit spicy, a very just unique. It almost had this sort of like, uh, she, she said one of the, uh, the scents that they tried to emulate from RBG's neighborhood in Brooklyn was like pastrami right? Mm -hmm. Like smoked meats. And you kind of taste this little hint of it in there. Uh, so it's really great. So the uh, uh, label uh, was designed by a local artist, Rose Jaffe. Uh, she's done 30 murals in D.C., including the big one, uh, the two-story mural of RBG on U Street. And I want to talk about Pia Caruso, who, Caruso yeah. and who you saw there in the piece. Um, the, the arc of achievement that she has in her life, she was the chief of staff to Congresswoman Gabby Giffords in 2011 when she was shot uh, and six people died of that shooting outside of Tucson in Arizona. She was here, Pia was here in D.C., but she's gone from that, chief of staff to a member of Congress, to now the co-owner of this amazing uh, distillery in D.C., wow. and uh, her, her partners are destined for greatness because they make outstanding booze. That's awesome. So all the people trying to support local, exactly how how much volume are they doing right now? Well, in terms of the Descent Gin, not that much, but you can still find it out on store shelves here in, in the D.C. area. So it's out there. Mm -hmm. um, people can order it off their website as well if they can't find it in their local store. All right. Make yeah. it happen. Yeah. I'm, I'm here for it. So listen, um, Pia is an outstanding person doing great things in our area. So anybody who you know who fits that description, we want to hear about them. We want to feature them on the show. Hit me up on social Social media at Adam Longo on Instagram and Facebook. You can also email me a Longo WC9.com. Also, even if you're not doing great things, if you want to get Adam around booze, oh, yeah. he really has shown a willingness to do so. If you've got booze stories, bring it on. Make it happen. <laughs>